Hi, I'm Charles Daring, and we're going to talk about scroll saw blades. Now, there's some misconceptions out there. There's debates, but I'm going to clear it up for you. Stick around, and at the end, I'll tell you how you can get a discount on one of those brands. Now, the thing to know about scroll saw blades is the older ones had pinned ends on them. Some of the lower end saws still use pin end blades. There are adapters for people that don't want to use pin end blades anymore. But this is strictly just about blades, so I'll let you research that for yourself. Aside from Pendan, there's flat blades and there's spiral blades. I use exclusively spiral blades. I only use number three and number five because I cut relatively large projects. But let's talk about numbering. Uh, the lower the number, the smaller the blade. Now, I only use spiral blades, so I know more about those. On either type of blade, the more TPI, which stands for teeth per inch. The lower the number of those, the more aggressive the cut. You get a finer cut with more teeth per inch. TPI is what you see on the packaging of most blades. And the less teeth per inch, the thicker the wood you can cut. It cuts more aggressively though. So if you're looking for a smooth edge, maybe not your thing. Experiment with the different sizes and you'll find what works best for you. There's no one size fits all for any of these. Now I'm only going to talk about a few brands there, there's multiples, but I'm only going to talk about a few. There are some misconceptions with some of those. For instance, Olsen. I've never used Olsen, but as far as, and this will lead me into my next point about a debate that's out there. Olsen is made by Honstetter, and Olsen is the dealer for U.S. and Canada. And Pegas blades are made in Switzerland. Flying Dutchman is made in Germany, and this is where the debate comes in. People think Niqua, N-I-Q-U-A, and Flying Dutchman are two different blades. I cannot say this decisively enough. Niqua and Flying Dutchman are exactly the same blade. Niqua makes the blades in Germany, and when they came to North America, they were given the name Flying Dutchman. It's just a name, just like Honstetter makes all the blades for Olsen. Olsen is just the name. So I cannot say it enough. Tell everybody, Niqua and Flying Dutchman are identical blades. They are the exact same blade, different name. Okay, so that clears that up. A while back, I made a video comparing Pegas blades to Flying Dutchman blades or Niqua. From the time I made that video, I did change my mind, and I'll tell you why, but it's also in the description of that video. And I'll put links to any of the videos I talk about down in the description below of this video. Now, when I tried Pegas blades, I was super, super impressed with how, how fast they cut. Now, what turned me off of Pegas blades is how brittle they were. I am referring to spiral blades only because I don't use flat blades, so I can't compare. The Pegas blade spirals, in my opinion, and a lot of people I talk to, they're just too brittle. They're sharper, but they're too brittle, so they don't last as long, so you end up spending more in the end. That's mine and quite a few people's opinions. Now, you may not have that experience. So for that reason, since that video was made, I very eagerly switched back to Flying Dutchman. The Flying Dutchman has always been good to me. And I pursued Wooden Teddy Bear because I'm so into Flying Dutchman blades. Now, this is where that discount comes in. I'm biased because I like Flying Dutchman blades, not because I was paid to like a blade. And I need to stress that because some people will say they like anything because they're paid to say they like it. I won't. Again, I pursued Wooden Teddy Bear because that's how much I believe in all of their products, especially their Flying Dutchman Blade. Now, that being said, through me and by following these instructions, you can get 15% off using my name, Charles, with these two methods. Now, a gross of blades is 12 dozen. That's 144 individual blades. They, they come in. 12 blade bundles that are wired together. If you get less than a gross, put my name Charles, C-H-A-R-L-E-S, in the gift card slash discount portion of the transaction at woodenteddybear.com. I'll have a specific link to their Flying Dutchman Blades. This only applies to Flying Dutchman Blades at woodenteddybear.com. Now, if you get a gross or more, put my name Charles in the notes portion of the transaction. Now, on any of this, if it doesn't work or doesn't go through, all you have to do is contact Wooden Teddy Bear, either by email or phone. I promise you they will make it right. They always do. They always have. They don't only have scroll saw blades. They have scroll saw accessories. They have things that 
every scroller uses, and they also have scroll saw patterns. Now, I may have gone through all of this kind of quickly as far as the different kind of blades and what each one does, but I do have my preferences, and that is number three and number five spiral blades by Flying Dutchman. I do get them through the wooden teddy bear. I do pay for them. Real quickly, I want to note what I do know about Pegas. Uh, again, I've only used their spirals, in my opinion, is, is what it was. From what I hear, and I may be incorrect, but I believe the modified geometry is Pegasus' most popular blade. Now, there again, you try different blades, see what you like, and stick with it. Tell folks. Everybody's experience matters, and everybody's opinion matters. A couple things I forgot to mention real quickly. Some people swear by flat blades. <laughs> Some people swear by spiral blades. I am terrible at using a flat blade. That being said, if you want to know how to use a spiral blade and have confidence in doing it, check the description because I have a link to a video that shows you how to use a spiral blade. If there's any questions remaining after that, either comment under this video or that one. I also wanted to give a quick explanation as to why my content has slowed down a little bit and why the last couple were just pattern related. Pattern related because I think a lot of people are confused by programs. I know I am and that's why I started doing them on paper and check my channel you'll see some videos on that but I was in a car accident on June 10th and I won't show it too long it's not near as gory as it was but the back of my hand I can hold the pen but I cannot lift anything remotely heavy or torque down on the, uh, the knob of the scroll saw now I could probably do it with my left hand because I want to get back into scroll sawing videos but I just wanted to let y'all know that if you see me sticking on the pattern topic it's because I'm able to hold the pen better than I am able to do anything with my right hand beyond that but that being said I will do my best to get back into regular content but please check out Wooden Teddy Bear they are my sponsor I pursued them because they are an awesome company they are family owned they've been around forever check out WoodenTeddyBear.com